Hi there, I'm meteorologist Sam Cantrell for WeatherEdge.com. Did you know that a thunderstorm can actually create other thunderstorms just by raining? Bear with me for a sec because this phenomenon is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty and tell you how a thunderstorm forms, but I will do some shameless promotion and tell you that if you'd like to know more about thunderstorms or how they form, check out our extreme weather section on thunderstorms. Okay, back to the topic at hand. After a thunderstorm forms, it usually rains, correct? Correct. Now this rain is cold, usually a lot colder than the surrounding air. Okay. I'm warning you we're going to get a little bit of physics into this conversation. Now, this rain falls to the ground by way of this thing called gravity. Still following? Okay. Newton's first law of motion states that the velocity of a body remains constant unless acted on by an external force. In this case, we're referring to the air on the ground, which isn't moving much. Now, this external force is actually the rain. It's falling and creating wind outward. Now, this cold wind gets pushed away from the storm, causing a makeshift secondary cold front. When that cold air passes over warm air in front of it, the clouds form and a new line of preliminary thunderstorms are born. These preliminary thunderstorms are actually in front of the uh, line of thunderstorms. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantrell. Have a great day.